Right then, James, uh, about to make our, our ground bait. Um, again, going in the shops, I get pretty confused by all the different types of bags out there. Uh, brought to here now. Can you just quickly talk me through it, mate? Yep. Well, there is a vast array of different ground baits for different situations. And nearly all manufacturers do a method feeder mix. My favourite mix is to mix half of this dynamite method mix with green swim stim. It's just a mix I've used for a long time and it makes the lovely consistency that works very well on the method feeder. You don't want the mix to be too sticky. The ideal situation with the method is that once it hits the water and goes to the bottom, everything stays together but very quickly starts to break down so that you've got a nice attractive meal for the fish to home in on but something that they're going to easily suck up, not something that's moulded really yeah. stiff around the feeder. So I think what we'll do is we'll just show you how to mix this very simple yep. ground bait for the method feeder. I'm going to use 50-50. So I'm going to use about a quarter of a bag of the method mix and about a quarter of a bag of the green swim stem. Now obviously if I was fishing for a longer session or catching lots of fish, I'd need to mix up more ground bait because naturally I'm going to get through more. Yeah. But there's really no need to mix up loads and loads of ground bait. In fact, it's probably counterproductive. What can happen is the ground bait can dry out with time and you're going to end up remixing it. So it's probably better to mix it in smaller quantities. So you, you've gone half and half there with the bags. How yeah. much water would, would you generally use to well, mix it? It's a little bit of a, an art mixing ground bait. It's something that you need to practice. But the biggest tip I can give you is just to add the water very, very gradually. So I've blended those two ground baits together. They're nicely, evenly mixed. And now I'm going to add the water. And I've just got a pint of water here, and I'm just going to gently dribble in a little bit over the top. And then I'm going to get stuck in and mix that very evenly around. Right, you can it. see that straight away that started to absorb the water. And it's a bit messy, but you've got to get stuck in and distribute the water as evenly as possible throughout the mix. You, basically, you don't throw it all in at once? Then. No, no, because what will happen then is you'll over wet the mix and you're going to end up throwing it away. Right, okay. The key factor, especially with the method, is to get the right consistency. Okay. So you've got to add the water very gradually. And the other thing to bear in mind is that the ground bait will actually absorb water. So now we've made that initial mix, we need to let that stand for five or ten minutes so that it absorbs the water, mm -hmm. then we'll add some more water to get the absolute perfect mix. Brilliant. So Andy, I've been through the process now of adding more water to the mix. Yeah. The last thing I'm going to do before it's ready to use is to riddle it. Now, this all seems a bit laborious, but what it does do is it ensures that everything, the whole mix is it has an even consistency. So every time you use it, it's exactly the same. Okay. And look at that now. It's a lovely, soft, fluffy mix. But when you squeeze it together, yeah. you can form a ball. That's absolutely spot on for the method feeder. It looks good. So, let's show you how to actually make the method feeder, incorporating the ground bait. So there's the method feeder we set up earlier. Yep. I've hair rigged a piece of corn, which I'll show you how to do in a bit as well. And I'm using this very clever mould that comes with the feeder that really makes it such a simple process. So I'm going to place the bait in the bottom of the mould, then I'm just going to fill the mould up with ground bait. Okay? Yep. And then, so I'm then going to press the feeder into the mould. Okay, and I'm not going to do it too hard, but I'm going to do it in a firm manner so that wow. makes an absolutely perfect method feeder ball on top of the method. And you can even see the hook bait there strategically placed in a prime point. So the fish is going to see that and home in on your hook bait straight away. So, I mean, it couldn't really get any simpler, could it, Anne? No, nah, that's uh, pretty simple, mate. One thing I will say is you have to take your time getting that mix absolutely spot on. Okay, better get fishing I reckon. Brilliant, let's do it. So James, um, just before we get out fishing, uh, you mentioned something about a hair rig. Yeah. 
I will be honest, I've not got a clue what it is. Yeah, no Can worries. you just uh, quickly talk me through it, mate? Yeah, sure, Andy, no worries. I mean, this is a, uh, a rig that's kind of been borrowed or stolen from the Specimen Carp Boys. And it just makes the bait much easier to mount on the hook, but also the hooking potential of the bait and the rig to be much greater, especially when used in conjunction with the bolt rig we talked about. So what actually you've got is a small section of line that comes through the hook eye, through the knot, and then off the back of the shank with a loop on the end, okay? And quite simply, you use a baiting needle to start the process. Okay, so I'll mount the bait on the baiting needle. Yep. I'll then place the small loop onto the hook and then slide the bait onto the hair. Okay, and then all we do then is put a small bait stop onto the loop, which prevents the bait from falling off. So there you go, that's the actual hair rig mounted correctly. And you can see that any fish that sucks that into its mouth the hook is going to be automatically primed for the maximum penetration into yep. the mouth. As soon as it moves away and hooks itself against the feeder, that bolt rig effect, they hook themselves. So you don't need to strike, the fish hooks themselves. Wicked. Well, that seems like a pretty simple and effective rig. Why don't we uh, give it a go? Absolutely. Let's try. I'm hooked on fishing. <laughs>